Welcome to BTS Means of Puffs. Disclaimer, this is a complete work of fan fiction. One must cook dinner for her called husband while humming a tune. A wish like food. He put aside the dish, work on presentation wholeheartedly, with a beautiful smile on your face. He would be here in time and murmured to myself. And got ready just before he came. You greeted him with a beautiful grin, now leaving your face. Who? How was your day? Good, he replied in one word, making Payan a little disappointed. But she just shrugged it, knowing very well about his nature. Great, fresh up, I will set dinner for you. I'm not hungry, one front. Why? Is everything alright? I feel well. One got worried as Jungle stared her for a few seconds before speaking. I have already invited dinner with my friends. Wen felt her son frustrated, but she managed to fake smile in front of him with a little nod. Oh, okay. So girl left from the living room and Wen went back in the kitchen. As some tears automatically made their way from her eyes. It's okay, Wen. You're a strong girl. She cheered herself. Wen tried to eat something, but all her appetite vanished. Already, as she placed food in the fridge and went back to her own. And they passed, and the same thing happened. When was so done with this behavior of him? Why don't he just let him know in advance so her all efforts didn't go in waste? She planned to not talk with him. What is the point of talking with him anyways when at the end he just gonna reply in a single word or just ignore her? He may didn't realize, but it hurts when more than anything else. I have been put in meeting out of city. I may return home late. Why didn't I speak anything as I just nod slightly in response? He stared her for a few minutes from mirror, adjusting his conflicts. Something seems off and he was not able to pin out. Maybe it was when not smiling like you yell, or maybe it was her stern facial expressions. He didn't understand for a few minutes what's exactly wrong. I shall take my leave. When I get just time to respond with a tiny note. Is there something wrong? He finally asked after observing her for a while. When stir him with a slight frown, does he really notice her change of expressions? No, the reply again came in a word. He was sure by now something is off. The both came downstairs and he went towards the door. While Wen just stand a little far where she can stir him easily. He noticed she didn't came with him to the door as he pauses and looked behind only to find her standing a little too far from the door. Contemplating his thoughts, he left his bag down and strolled towards her, whose heart was already beating faster than Nachit. You forget something? He didn't. She knew it. There was nothing unusual in this moment except the way he was stirring her. Then speak and she got a lump in throat, getting nervous and by his intense gaze. But his next action surprised her. He cupped her cheeks and then his attached with hers. When blinks processing what is happening was something she didn't expect nor even thinks about it. Because usually she gave him a goodbye. But what happened today was not just, it was a haul. He left her lightly, her nose and neck and with the last he meet her gaze, who was red like tomato, surely butterflies dancing in her stomach. I shall be back on time, don't worry. Hmm? He stumps suddenly grazed her cheeks as she was, as she nods shyly. Okay, take care. With a little lighter mode, the butterflies in her stomach and a last on his cheek, they bid the goodbye. And just like that, all her anger also vanished away in thin air. He left and went up her blushy cheeks. He only don't act this romantic. They have been married for more than three months. Some days went normal, some days he's like a cold hearted who don't even care about anything in us and anyone except his work. And sometimes she even feel alone in this big house, but she was slowly adopting everything. Moreover, he never extrude and make her feel down. It was true, he sometimes had to know outside that hurt when. But he always compensated with 
some long drive or day nights or in the woods one was trying to read his call nature as well she need to compromise in some things and she was sure same goes with him all day passed but there was no sign of jungko clock ticks 12 am and there was still no sign of jungko his son was also not reachable nor his drivers one was getting worried and anxious with every passing second and especially after today which make her extra blushy they rarely have these types of and the robust and one was ready to go to the station to file a complaint but that's when a knock on door startled her jungo have keys he will open door himself and it really makes one worried but still correcting herself she went towards door and opened it and a drench in rain jungo slumped on her shoulder when i saw it and but she holds him before he fell down what happened jungo she said to pull him in front of but he was looking so pale and completely soaked in rain When I noticed earlier, in all her worry, it was raining heavily, and from his condition, it seems like he walked in a mile in rain, and she got more worried for him. Do you walk home? He nods, in tiny snuggling. I miss you, baby. He murmured softly while pouting his sour lip, and sniffles are sent to my phones with a raised eyebrow. What happened to Cook? He sneezed, and then snuggled in one snack more. His arms wrapped around her waist securely. I'm not feeling good, Wan. Do you got fever as well? Let me check. Wan tried to detach herself from him and see what's wrong, but he didn't budge to move. She again tried to pull, but still he was not ready to let her go as he says. Okay, let's go to Rome. Was she tried to walk, but still he wasn't ready to move. She go, we can't stand like this for all night, and your clothes are soaked in rain. She tried to listen, go. By this ratio, I will also catch a ball from you. Fine, let's go. Wen helped him to get in room while he was clinging to her all the time. Sit on couch, I'll prepare your bath. Wen turns to leave, but Jungo again hauled her from waist to rim, less tightly snuggling in her stomach. What happened now, Jungo? She was getting a little irritated now. As he looks up with a pout, making her immediately melt on his cuteness as he creases his ears softly. I should back with me just wait a minute for me she wrapped a warm blanket around him and left to make a bath also to warm clothes for him to wear he was sitting on bed the little pout still on his face when when returned in rome with a bowl of soap and medicines a ye soap and then take medicines he stretched his snout and looked to the side strong go I have been waiting for you here for more than half an hour when and you didn't even take with me when she splashed in crimson color as she coughed slightly diverting her eyes to the side on his words well i was making soup for you so now don't waste my hard work and eat it feed me soup you know like you can grab the bowl and stop whining like a baby i'm sick when Your hands are fine. He hops, but grabbed the bowl from her hand and started eating it silently. While Wen just rolled her eyes, does he have changed his soul with the alien after getting sick, or is he slapped his body with the kit? Wen thought in her mind because he was behaving completely opposite to his usual personality. Wen felt his hand where she brings slightly. Her eyes softens, and she immediately took the bowl from him and started feeding him with her own hands. And a smile of triumph appeared on his lips because the poor girl didn't know he did it intentionally to get her whole attention for himself only. He finished his soup and then take his medicines when was supervising his every move. Okay, now go to bed. See, Paul Habi. She grabbed the bowl as she was about to leave, but he holds her arm and slightly pulled her towards him, making her gasp in surprise. What happened now, Jungkook? She seemed slightly drained of energy. He patted the space. behind him stay beside me as he blinks in a sunny when smiles precise let me just put the bowl back in kitchen and cook shake his head as now you tomorrow love let's go there for now when heart skips a beat and she looks down to white her blushy state having no option and knowing his stubborn self she lay beside him and he pulled her closer toward him till there was snow behind and snuggled in her 
His arms wrapped around her securely, so she won't be able to leave or move when smiling as she leaves with her on his head. Good night, Jungkook. He just hummed in response. Next day, Jungkook got up with no man beside him. He frowned, and after his morning train, he immediately went downstairs. Only to find her cooking something in the kitchen, as his eyes in a leaf and silently went behind her and back hugged her. Which made her flinch slightly, but realizing who was behind her, her eyes got wide. It was the first time in their marriage he was showing this kind of affection for her, and it was no less than a fantasy. If it's a dream, she wanted to let it stay for forever, God, she prayed in her mind. You up? Her voice came out to her race, then she intended, as she lightly closed her eyes, being embarrassed, and he nods, nudging his nose in her. One breath hitch in throat, her cheeks tended. Why you go out up early in the morning? He wrapped his arms around her stomach and she slightly leaned on his touch. He didn't relax and continue whatever work she was doing. To make something light for you, are you feeling any better? He shook his head as no one would slightly bow his lips. No, really. When put her hand on his forehead to check his temperature, other hand still working on pan. It seems better than before, but eat your breakfast and medicines. Okay, only if you feed me from your hands. Ma looks up to see him. Their face was just inches away. Her cheeks flushed. The tiny action seemed so homey and domestic. Everything he'd be doing from yesterday was something he never did before. She got embarrassed and immediately looked down towards food. Mm hmm. She cleared her throat. Could take a seat. I'm almost done with everything. One felt him shaking his head in her nape, making her more blushy than cook. She won, but Tom was ticketing. He still didn't move, making her let out a sigh. We need to dish out everything, so you need to leave me before I plan to kick you out of my kitchen. You know I'm sick, don't you? So what? Look at yourself. You are still pushing me away from you. When narrowed her eyes. You have been clinging to me from yesterday, even today, right after getting up as well. And you're back hugging me for more than half an hour now, Mr. John Jinkook. And I can't move in whole kitchen with you clinging me like a koala. And moreover, you know you're sick and your germs might transfer to me as well. So, if you're that, continue this act of yours when you're completely fine and for God's sake, stop. Me and be a good boy and go and sit in a chair. He moved away and silently sat in chair. A few minutes passes and when here light sniffle of someone crying, she frowns and looked towards Uncle Conley to see him crying. He was obviously faking and being over dramatic. Went sighs and went towards him just in case if there is really some problem. What happened in Cookie? He moved his face toward the side, making her smile on his cuteness because he was literally acting like a child at the moment. Jungkook, what's wrong? Still, he didn't reply. Fine, if you're not telling me, then I think I should take my leave. What do you say? Merely face towards her with that cute bow and slightly glossy eyes of his. What happened now, Jungkook? He was still sniffing quietly, so one wrapped her arm around him as she placed his ear softly. Crown half his head. What's wrong, baby? You're ignoring me, when frowns. When did I ignore you, baby? You did, when You also pushed me away from you. You don't want me to close to you, right? He sobs again. Jungkook, I told you, I need to dish out everything. She knows. He was still listening, so her explanation won't even affect him. Taking a deep breath and realizing he's been acting like a kid, so she also need to give him that treatment. Okay, fine. You can cling to me after breakfast. She tried to go up, but he stops her again. You're going away again. His stomach scrolls and went smirks. Look, you're all hungry. After breakfast, I promise. If you want to cuddle, we will cuddle. If you want to watch a movie or whatever, we will do it after breakfast. He loosened his rib and went immaturely punched in victory in her mind. Where we want? He was no more speaking in cute voice and his eyes never leaving hers. 
went slightly shudder with the slight change of his demeanor, but composed herself and nods. He smiles. Okay, then it's a deal. Went came back in the kitchen and took a sigh of relief that she didn't even know, realize she was howling. They had breakfast and went feed him with her hands, which made him extra happy, and now they were in the theater room watching a movie. Few minutes passed and unknowingly when placed her head on his shoulder and he placed his arm around her waist. She was so engrossed in the movie that she didn't realize their position was still looking like a perfect couple enjoying their family time. It's been more than two hours since we were watching the movie. Look towards Wayne who was fast asleep, her head on my shoulder and her tiny hands around her waist. I felt the urge to snuggle myself more in her neck by a hurried citrus scent. God, she smells so heavily, and I love her scent. Why I didn't cling to her like this before? It's just so comfortable, and it felt myself like home to be in her embrace, especially after she takes care of me last night and then feeds me food with her own hands. Man, she's such a perfect wife, and I was being a god. I trailed my other hand on her soft cheeks, and she shifted a little on her place, and slowly opened her eyes as she eyed my face in the hands. Why are you touching me, Guru? She mumbles, her voice raspy, making me feel something that I was not supposed to feel at this moment, but I composed myself. I was not cupcake, I replied, smirking, and the bad name made me feel something unexpected. You were, she cleared. Yes, dear, and beautiful eyes. No, I was not, I replied, strongly. Why do you want me to touch your princess? I smirked, gazing her eyes wide and realizing what I meant. What? No, she replied as she moved her knees to the side to hide her flustered state, but I saw it already. She was blushing more from last night. God, she looks so cute, and now I want to make her blush on every comment. Are you sure, princess? Because your words and your face are speaking differently. She crumpled on my statement and stand up on her place. You seem fine now, are not you? Okay, so I'm leaving, Mr. John. Someone is trying to go away after pushing buttons, and I'm still sexy. Extending my head with a fake bow, like the same I was doing from last night to get her all attention. He was a cold person, but he was good, observant, and he never fails to make her blushy and fulfill his husband duties. It was also true he forgets sometimes and put neglect and learn duties. But when he realized his mistake, he always tried to make it up to her. Just like yesterday, he realized she was being upset because they didn't have dinner together for a few days. And he also know how to make her forgive him. And yesterday, after meeting, he go late and then his car also broke. It was not far from house and he know his wife must be upset. He was already tired from all day and he knew he will got sick if he will walk back home. That's when this evil idea came in his brain, and just to get her all attention, and she wouldn't get upset with him for being late. He walked a few miles, and ended up getting sick, and eventually his hands work, and he succeeded to get her all attention for himself. Later that day, Jungkook was working in his office when one came. Go to bed, Jungkook. Our phones are wrong. Why? Because I'm going to call doctor, she smirks. Does she know I'm pretending half the times from yesterday? It's true. I'm sick, but I'm being extra clinging from yesterday. Because I know she must be last night, but after continuing this, I want to continue it for more time. It seems so good to be around her, and especially when she blushed and then got annoyed. God, I know she is my very own wife, but... At this point, I'm also feeling like a creep. She's literally taking me under her spell. I'm working when, so? I know myself, I'm feeling much better than before, but I'm ready to pretend to get her special treatment. I was honestly expecting You are fine. So stop pretending and over-exaggerating now. She was about to turn around, but I hold her hand back and pull her on my. As I pinned her hands above her head and... I didn't let her complete her sentence and take her, breaking it and move to her neck. That is going to be my favorite spot from now on as I let Mark some maternity everywhere there. So you got it. I was pretending half of things. When cupped my cheek, when I felt her hands.
I'm your wife, Jim Cook. I know when you behave yourself and when you are not. You're such a cold hearted. So, you hubby, how you think I won't get your act of playing in self respects? But you continue with it, and not you. Why not? Get up as they take her to their room. I thought to not let her your ego, and moreover, also thought to give you special treatment because technically you do have a fever. Did I ever tell you how much I love you? You drove to Wendix, and how pretty you look when you blushed. It went bit her low lip and looks to the side, and he groans, feeling himself more by the tiny act. Stop. Your princess, it's my job. With that saying he again, more. We're going to kitten and I'm going to show you how much I'm in love with you. And what you matter to me. And I'm not only that gold headed person that you think I am. When I was, were white and she was her cheeks dark, shade of crimson. I want to know you lost me, but I'm going to show you. I don't mind, she murmured, smirking, and with that, he gained took her in now. Thanks for watching.